Hi everyone. Salesforce connectors in Power Automate allow us to pull in lots of data from Salesforce. Sometimes we need to find interrelated data and we only have one record to begin with. All we need to do is use a few get record actions to find the rest of the data and pull it into whatever we need to populate. In the example we're looking at today, I need to send an email and that email needs to contain dynamic data spanning multiple records. I need user data, accounts, contacts, and subscriptions. Let's take a look at this example I've got set up here. I have a get record action, a Salesforce get record, get record action, and I've selected the object type subscriptions, and I'm gonna pull in data that's connected uh, through this subscription, the specific record ID that I have here. So I'm gonna start by adding a new step, and it's gonna be, another Salesforce get record. One thing you'll know is there's another one. There's another similar action called get records, but the one that we want is the singular get record. So I'm gonna click on Salesforce to see all the connectors and I'm gonna locate the one that's get record because this one allows us to enter a record ID. So what I want, what I'm looking for is an account and this account is the one that is connected to this subscription, this specific subscription. So I'm just gonna, instead of putting in the record ID because I don't know what the record ID is and it's dynamic, it's changing every time. So I'm looking for the dynamic content of this get record action. Now we're gonna be creating a lot of get record actions. So we wanna keep them organized and find stuff easily when we're pulling in dynamic content. So that before I do anything further, I'm going to rename this and we're going to call it get record subscriptions. Now, if I go back down here and I look for my dynamic, my dynamic content, I'm going to see get record subscriptions so that I know it's pulling from this particular action here. And I can search the dynamic content and go and search by account. So here is the account. I'm going to add this subscription account dynamic content. Now I've got my account that I'm looking for to pull in to my email that's connected to this particular uh, subscription record. So again, we're going to rename this so that we can make sure that we know when we're searching for dynamic content. So this is going to be get record account. Now let's say that we're looking for a specific user that's connected to this subscription record. And the user in this case is the account owner. I wanna know who the account owner is that's associated to this account um, belonging that owns this uh, particular subscri subscription record. So let's find our Salesforce get record action. This time, what we're looking for is the user. So we're looking for users. And this time, the record ID that we're looking for is going to be um, connect connected to this get record account. So here, get record account. And what we're looking for is the account owner. And here is account owner. Now we have that. And we're gonna update this or rename this to account owner user. See that we're pulling information from each record here in order. So we've got our subscription record, which we have the ID for, but that's the only piece of data that we happen to have, but we need to get our account. So we get our account from the dynamic content of this action. And then we're, once again, we need to get a user and that user is connected to, the, to this account. We can't trace them back to the subscription. Instead, we pull in the dynamic content of the account. So now we've got three different actions that we can pull in dynamic content into our email. So let's add our send an email action. 
And now we can put in all sorts of dynamic content because we've got three different actions that will allow us to populate with all of this information here. So we can make this um, super dynamic and we can take it even further. We can add in an action for getting a, getting a record of something related to specifically to the account owner user, for example. And you can just go on and on with this um, and make it super dynamic and pull in just about any bit of data, connected data that you need in Salesforce. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions about Salesforce connectors or Power Automate, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.